want to kiss John on the lips when you <laughs> see this one. Hey, buddy. How are you, Albany? Listen, I am better now that I've met you. This is one of those really simple items, and you think, I wish I'd thought of it. And John, it came to you. You've been in the cleaning industry for about 20 years or I've so I've been now. selling all kinds of cleaning stuff all my life. I've been demonstrating, and I had to develop this at a necessity. I call it the Easy Edge Hard Floor Sweeper. Okay. It is a hard floor sweeper. Keep in mind, it's not for carpeting. It's for your hardwood floors, laminates, tile. Fantastic. So I'm going to ask that you get a little closer and look at this, because when you see what's going on, you'll see why it's sold out in the original over, debut. Over here, Albany, I have a large item, a piece of sliced bread. I move it forward and it works. It has a built-in dustpan. It's always ready to go. I got a really small particle here. This happens to be, I think, uh, some cookies or something. I could pick up the really small stuff. Wet stuff is very unique. Now, I have some uh, potatoes and carrots. You have a peel potatoes and carrots, and maybe uh, you, you dropped it on the floor. And then over here, uh, my daughter, Alyssa, loves corn and rice. I got three yeah. kids. They do drop the food on the floor. Of course now, they do. that rice usually leaves a smear mark on the floor, right. but it picks it all up. I could pick up, what, we missed a piece. I could pick up wet and dry, big and small. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Did you see the big piece of bread, the corn, the potatoes, wet stuff, dry stuff, and then all of a sudden, you open up the back door, you it dump it into a the lot trash of can. Stuff. You don't touch the dirt. You pick up a ton of stuff. It's always ready to go. Remember, guys, it's non-electric. This is a manual floor okay. sweeper. So non-electric, no battery, no, no charge. Right. Like the little funiculation going in here. These little guys are like. Uh, like a street sweeper. Right. That's how we got the idea. Wow. I, yep. I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and I always seen the street sweepers come by, and I said, we have to figure out a way to get really close to the edges, and that's why I call it the easy edge. Now, if you notice, we have horizontal brushes. Your yes, brooms, sir. your vacuums, yes. they're always vertical. The horizontal brushes will get not just close, but literally underneath the baseboard. You could see how it pulls that dirt, that debris. Now, that could be underneath my kitchen cabinets. Look how it pulls that even underneath there. That could be along my hallway, and then I dump it out. Quick, easy, and by the way, quiet, always ready okay, to go. Okay, can I do this? Absolutely. I'm dying to do this. So, a couple of things. I see these arrows here. Do I have to only use it forward? Yeah, we recommend not using it like a vacuum. Use it just like uh, a shovel because you're basically scooping up your mess. Over okay. here, I have some bird seeds, oh. which can be a little nasty. I have to tell you, I'm glad to know those are bird seeds. I thought right. they were something else. Right, and that's the way you want to use it. But you don't always have to go away from you. Over here, real life situation, under the table, I got some pasta or whatever you drop, I can take it and bring it back to me. If you watch this, I'm gonna pull that pasta from underneath that uh, chair, or maybe the kids oh drop gosh. some food underneath the table. Again, wet rice, okay, cereal, this is awesome. or whatever. It doesn't matter. It picks up wet, dry, big, small. Over here, we have some potato chips. It is Labor Day. I you have know. to tell you, we we brought this in in April. It completely sold out. We brought more back in. I think it sold out again with David. Right. Then. We had three colors. We're down to one. At this point, I don't care what color it is because look how easy this works. Right. So let's do this again. I will say this. The only thing I notice is yeah. I need to put just a little tiny bit of pressure right. on it. So don't, don't use it like a sweeper. We'll put a little bit of pressure on right. it, and it really works better. Right. My three tips are you follow the arrows. I'm going to pick up my big item right here, bread. It's gone. If I want, if I, want I could also pick up uh, some crumbs if I want to. And you just dump it out when you need to, you know. Uh, okay, I, I have to tell you, I am feeling like a rock star right now because my house, oh, let me go get it again. So if you come backwards, you just, you follow the arrows. Right. Is that what I'm understanding? That's my tip number one. The tip number two is give that little bit of pressure down because it is lightweight okay. and you want to help it move those brushes. John, that's glass. Glass, Christmas ornaments. Over here we have a piece of glass. Okay, I don't know if you can see how big this glass is. Right. This is a big piece of glass. I'm going to pick up that piece of glass. Oh my word, your I'm fingers don't have to get in you there. Don't, you, you get the shards. Uh, I got some almonds over here and some raisins. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, big and small, wet and dry. And Can I do this one? Absolutely. Okay, now I have a battery. Heavy battery. stuff, bulky stuff, random shaped stuff. It's candy cane. Look at that, the candy cane is gone. Right. But then it is equally efficient on dry, 
oatmeal. The oatmeal. Here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one tough for you. I was gonna say you. step Here on it, make it a little harder. Because this It'll is what the happens: the stuff. dogs jump over it, the kids jump over it. I gotta go for this. Ready? The holidays are here. You're going to have wow. company. You're going to need to sweep this stuff up. You want it to be quick. You want it to be easy. Uh, I got, you know, sometimes the dog brings in uh, leaves and okay, acorns. Okay, got every single pit. Right. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. I need to tell you, it's sold out. Look at that whole piece of bread. And if you want to empty it, let's. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh. Come on. And, let's pick do all it that again. Up? Absolutely. Um, so. Okay. All this... I need to. I'm so sorry, John, but let me just say something. Yeah. We are busy. We have fewer than a thousand left. This is sold out twice. When you start to think about these kinds of messes or not having to go underneath something because you right. can pull it towards you, right. either pull it towards you or turn it back around. Right. Do you see that I just got all of your mess right. up off the floor? Now we, f we forgot to talk about pet hair. People oh, absolutely yeah. love this for pets. Over here, I'm too to excited about cleaning up this mess again. I have this one from my house. Now, there's no assembly required. Okay. You have three sections to your handle. They each screw into each other. Your sweeper comes fully assembled. This is my personal sweeper. I have a dog at home, and I have put a bunch of hair here. I want to show you what's very special. So hold on, I'm going to do it here. So this is this would be Albany's hair, this right is, here. <laughs> this is a very soft brush, and I don't have a motor restricted me. You do get the comb in the box. It serves two purposes. Purpose number one, it pulls out that hair if needed. Needed. But since it's a soft brush, it doesn't require scissors, so it's very easy to okay. clean. Let's I mean, let me ask a really gross but um, yeah. but practical question. Can I wash this? Like if I've been picking yes. up wet, nasty stuff? Yes. The disposal bin is very big and it's fully washable. In fact, the whole machine comes apart in just a couple of moments. You see, I could actually pop these pieces out. Oh, nice. Very easy to disassemble if you need to clean it. And how do I know when I need to clean it? When you're using your sweeper and you feel like maybe it's not spinning as easy as it did when you first got it, that just means it's time to clean the brushes out. Very easy to do, quick and easy. I gotta tell you something real quick. We, we have a thousand out the door. We're busy. I only have 500 left. This is it. We sold out of everything we had when we launched it in April. We went back to Port John and said, how many more can you get us? And then David Venable sold it out. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this. My entire first floor is hardwood. If you've been thinking, how do I get the hair behind the toilet without getting on my hands and knees? How do I get the crumbs against the baseboard? In fact, would you walk with me over here for a minute? This baseboard thing is interesting to me. Right. You're no longer on your hands and knees. John, show them how quick that is. Absolutely. Right along that baseboard, Look underneath your kitchen it's cabinets. It's pulling out the, the, the little cereals. Just like a street sweeper. It's going to get all those little corners. Everything awesome. is away. And then you dump it out into your trash. You never touch. Quick and easy. It's designed to replace your broom and your dustpan. Um, the dustpan is built in. The dustpan is built How in. How cool is this? We only have about 300 of these left. I'm loving it. And this is easy. No batteries. No electricity. No cost of ownership. No cost of ownership. And you're not on your hands and knees with a dustpan. Right. High five, buddy. All right. Keep those They'll inventor love it. They brains love it. coming our way. Absolutely. Okay, so I got to tell you, one of my other favorite items is here. 45,000 of just this version.